Hey, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Jordan. It's your boy. It's me, it's me, it's me. What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Subscribe, like, and comment, boy. Yeah, boy. Subscribe here. What is good? I hope y'all had a fantastic, amazing day. My name is Jordan, J O U R D A N. And today's video is an episode, I think, six of Simpsons Construction. You know what I'm saying? Today I'm chaining out a field valve inside a toilet. I'm gonna show y'all all the steps I take to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's not really hard to do. You know what I'm saying? It's not really hard to do. It's easy. You need pliers, you need a bucket, like not like really a bucket, like a small, probably a small trash can, put the water in out of the toilet. You need some pliers that you need to feel that itself. I'm gonna say all this stuff in a second. I'm trying to explain it to you real quick. But guys, you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you turn the bell on so you're notified every time I post a video. I post videos Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays between six and seven o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes my time you throw it out, I'll be busy, life be going crazy. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, without further ado, I'm about to show y'all what I'm about to do. So I'm about to set y'all up in the bathroom and show y'all just about everything so y'all can learn how to do it yourself. And if you need me to do it, just hit my line. You feel me? You know, Simpsons Scratching business I created myself. But guys, let's get into the video. Um, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, um, if you haven't seen the video from last week, make sure you please click the first link in the description. It's going straight to there. And I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in a second. All right, y'all. Right here, we have the toilet. I'm going to work on right here. I already got the top took off. And last time I was here, I emptied, like I got most of the water out of the bottom, like, out of the bowl. So this right here is the field valve. This right here is a new pack I got. I got one with a flapper inside of it. So. What I want to do is I might replace this right here. This right here is a stopper, like the stopper, like the um, I guess you call it the flapper. The flapper, like to keep your water inside your um bowl, is right here. So I might take this off because it's kind of old. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna replace the fill valve first because I really don't feel like taking the toilet apart yet. So I'm gonna replace the fill valve first right here, and then if it does like what's what the problem is that it keep running, the toilet keep running, and it's running the water bill up, you know what I'm saying? And it keep running and not stop running, it's not filling up, it just keep running and running and running. So I got right here, this is a um flapper. I'm about to place that how to replace that I'm about to take the whole toilet apart because it's not like a regular flapper. See what I'm saying? So I did it's kinda different than this one. But I do a video I to do that too. So right here I my little trash can up under here we have the um the line going to the toilet. I'm gonna try to show y'all to the best angle I can. Let me see y'all can see. So right here is the net. I gotta um take apart. I gotta uns unscrew it a little bit and do it. It's kind of tight. So I'm using pliers to do it. I unscrew the nut right there, and then I gotta just let the water fall into this bucket right here. I got, and I just unscrew it. Like it's so it's so simple to put on. Y'all about to see me do it. It's real simple. Y'all make sure it's tightened up. Like don't tighten up with the pliers because you can um, like strip it and mess it up. Just try to tighten up the best you can with your hand and tight as you can get it. You know what I'm saying? I do it tight as I can. So this this right, this right here is fairly new, but I don't know. It could be still something wrong with you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you get stuff in the store and still be it's still be broke. You know what I'm saying? Cause everything's man-made. But yeah, might say I got I got some pliers to do it with, and I got that's all about what I need. That's all I need really some pliers to do it with. So y'all just get this thing together and let's do it. All right, me. so I got y'all set up the best way I can. I got my microphone stuff turned a different way. Y'all can see the field valve. I can see, I can see it. But y'all can't see it under the toilet. Just know the little nut I showed y'all earlier. I'm gonna take it, take it loose, and let the water run out, run out inside this, inside this uh little trash can I got right here. I might do it right now. I might see how I do it. So first thing you do, get your pliers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that already, though. Get your pliers. I got some regular pliers. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do is I'm go up under here, and loosen this. Loosen this nut and stuff like that. No, let the water run out inside the trash can. One sec. All right, so I got it unloosed real quick. You know, like, you know what I'm saying. You don't tighten these up really with pliers. Sometimes you tighten them with pliers, like a little teeny, but don't tighten them with too much with pliers because you might mess it up. So I usually tighten up my hand. So I got it loose. I got my bucket up under there. So when the water come out, it's going inside the bucket. Now sometimes you still gonna waste water on the floor. So get you a little towel or something to dry it up with. So now since I got a loose, a loose from up under it, I'm gonna go outside. Go inside of here, inside the toilet, and it's a. Uh, it's a little ring in here. I'm gonna show it till I get loose. It's a little ring inside of here. You know what I'm saying? You can take no, my bad. Yeah, it's a ring up on the bottom. I'm sorry. And you loosen it right there. You'll feel it when you do it. You'll feel it. And you start turning it. It'll come out. I'm gonna show it to you the ring up under it. This is a ring. How to look up under it. Right here's a white ring. I'll show you one, a new one too, uh, as it's connected like that. You know what I'm saying? They'll be up under the toilet, up under the toilet bowl. So up under the toilet bowl is right there. And then you just pull it out like that. You see it, you see how it came out? And it's connected right here. You connect to this right here. Oh. So this is the old one right here. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sure y'all got in the frame. This is the old one right here. So I'm putting a new one inside there just in case it might be messed up or defective or something. So I got this right here. The water running out inside my bucket right here. You know what I'm saying? Since it wasn't that much water, it wasn't really that much in the bucket. But 
Before y'all do this, make sure y'all flush the toilet and turn the water off. Turn the water line off. Please do that because you don't want too much water in your bucket. Okay, your, your bucket might overflow. It might be big enough. So make sure you drain the toilet first, then do it. So I got old fill valve, old fill valve right here. I'm gonna open up new. One. All right, y'all. I'm back. So right here is a new fill valve. You see it? A new fill valve with the bolts and stuff, with the nuts and stuff that you need. You got a little piece right, piece right here. I don't need this piece, but it's for like it's like a show of teeth. But I can't show you an example because this one made different. You know what I'm saying? But you can use it. It's like I can't really show y'all, but this toilet kind of different. So I got the fill valve, I got the line I'm going to this right here, this right here, this gray, gray line. It goes to this right here, so the water going inside of there. And I got a flapper. I really don't need the flapper on this toilet, so I just keep it just in case I need it somewhere else. So I'm about to put it together. So new flapper, you got it right here. Okay, got it right here. What you do is you stick it down in there. So what you do is you can turn this right here. If you turn the bottom, it can choose how much water goes inside the toilet. And you can turn like this, turn this right here. You can show the water flow too, how much water goes inside the toilet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it to like, I'm turning by right here. So I'm gonna keep mine right here. I'm gonna stick it in like this. You stick inside the um the hole. <laughs> yeah. You stick inside the hole. Wait one second before I do that. Alright, so I'm gonna come back for one second. I almost forgot. I almost forgot, but on the other one, it already had the washer on it. So that's the reason why I forgot to tell you. So in the next clip, we're gonna say I don't use it, but I'm sorry I forgot to put it on. I wasn't really thinking. I had to go back and read the instructions to make sure I was doing everything right. But make sure you put the black washer, unless you already have it on it. Make sure you put the um the shank washer on here, just like this. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, it's gonna leak around it. I just figured it out just now. All that water on the floor. I kind of accidentally forgot not to put it on. But make sure you please put this on. I'm gonna put this clip in here. Make sure y'all see it. But y'all might try to fill it back up, like I was saying. Well, I'm gonna try to fill it up now. Y'all gonna hear all this stuff in a minute, but yeah. So make sure please put this on. I'll see you guys in a second. Well, the next clip, gonna see y'all. Thank you. So you put this in, boom. It's in there like that. Then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna tighten it at the bottom. One second. Tighten the thing on there. So I'm tightening it at the bottom. I got it tight. I'm gonna tighten a little more with my hand. Tight as I can get it with my hand. It'll have, it'll have a little, it have a little one deep right here. You have that right there. You see it? You have that right there. So what you do is, you take your rubber line, you stick it on here, you stick it on your little, little piece sticking out right there, and then you connect it to wherever your water supposed to go to. So my water go right there, I'll connect it right there. I have to make sure I show y'all, so y'all be lost. So I found my rubber piece is right here on this one. Make sure you got it all the way up on there. Make sure you got it all the way up on there. I usually put it on before I put it inside the toilet, but this time I kind of kind of forgot because I'm trying to record a video, so you know, some things to slip in mind sometimes. So you got, I got all the way on there. Now I'm gonna do is connect it right here so the water can go outside of here. You put it on there like that. Yeah, go on that ball. I got it almost on there like I wanted to. I got it all the way on there like that. So I got it on there, makes it on both both things all the way. So it's all the way up on both of these. And I'm about to show y'all the bottom of the toilet, so one second. All right, so I'm about to show y'all the bottom while I screwed it in it. Well, twist it. Well, you know, what are you going to say? Well, how are you going to say it? So right here, you see it right there. I got to twist it like tight as I can, get on my hand at the bottom. I'm about to put this back on here right here. Make sure it's not cross there. Make sure it's going back on this straight. That's about as straight as you're going to get it right there. I'm going to tighten it on my hand. You know, my hands actually don't judge me, guys. You know what I'm saying? Got it right there. Got it tight as I can get on my hands. Ugh. Now I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn this back on right here. Turn the line back on. Turn the water back on to the, to the toilet. Turn it back on. I'm gonna let it fill up, fill up for a second, and see what it do. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna take the whole toilet apart and replace this right here. Hopefully it works because <laughs> that's a lot of work. So yeah, I'm gonna let it fill up, and I'll be back with y'all guys in a second. All right, y'all, we back. The toilet has been filling up for a good 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna try and see if we gonna do the same thing we were doing before, and it did the same thing. So I had to go to the store and replace this right here. So I take the whole total apart and do it. I might make a video for that too. It depends on how I feel and how confident I feel how confident I feel about doing it. So I might go in the store and get one of these for Walmart, you know what I'm saying, like six, seven dollars. But they keep filling up, they keep draining back out. So I think the water seeping around the flapper. So you know what I'm saying? But it's in there, I'll show y'all all the instructions, all the steps y'all need, instructions, stuff like that to do it. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you had a great day today. I love you guys so much. And make sure y'all please stay tuned for the next video. And I'll see you guys another day. Make a like, subscribe, love you, boy Jordan, J O U R D A, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up, everybody? It's boy Jordan. What's up with Jordan? I'm sorry I didn't do the quote at the beginning of the video. You know I did a quote for the Black History Month quote, because Black History Month is a very big month for people of my color and people that got their rights, you know what I'm saying? Because 
people really fought and died for our rights as people. You know what I'm saying? Many African Americans stood their ground and did what they had to do to get make sure people like us, you know what I'm saying, had the right to be in school with other people, you know, of different races. And so today, like, and today we have people with mixed couples and stuff like that. So thank you for the people that really did fight for our rights as people and especially as black people ourselves. But today's quote comes from Martin Luther King Jr. It is, the time is always right to do what is right. The time is always right to do what is right. You know what I'm saying? It's a very simple quote, but it's very true. But y'all, I want y'all to hear that quote today. Make sure y'all please like, comment, subscribe, and love the video. Here's the intro coming up next. I'm sorry the video's weird. It's a little how-to video. and show y'all how I be living, how I do things. But I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. So I love you, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ah.